there's some, something like 22 million people right now in the United States that suffer from a substance use disorder. An active substance use disorder, they meet criteria for substance use disorder and they're struggling with it, right? And there are another like 22 to 23 million people that are in remission from substance use disorder. Taken together, that's around 45 million people. That equates to approximately one in three households um, has exposure to, suffers from, or has been impacted by substance use disorder. And that is a massive number. Over 10 years ago, uh, accidental overdose became the number one cause of death in the United States. And uh, forever it had been uh, motor vehicle accidents. But it passed motor vehicle accidents and it's been going up ever since and it's going up like a hockey stick now. And this has to do with, you know, the potency of illicit drugs, fentanyl in particular, but it also has just as much to do with how, how our system has failed. And a lot of reasons for that has to do with stigma and discrimination. You know, feelings of guilt, shame, worthlessness, they all come with, with using drugs when society tells you that you suck that compared to others, you're a moral failure, you're weak, you know, you should be able to figure this out on your own. What needs to happen is we need to destigmatize substance use disorder, for lack of a better word, and talk about it for what it really is, a medical condition that involves the brain, a chronic relapsing disease of the brain, one that has effective treatments, one that acts like other chronic diseases, and just treat them on par with other diseases. Offer the same intensity and level of treatments to people that suffer from substance use disorders as you would with somebody having a heart attack or on diabetes medications. Those patients make bad behavioral choices you know, throughout their lives often as well but we don't treat them the same as somebody who's using drugs because that's somehow less of a moral failing than using drugs. And that's a joke. I mean, that, that, that doesn't work, it hasn't worked, uh, and we need, to, we need to change how we talk about it and how we treat it. And what those 45 million people, the people that are affected, what they need to start doing is standing up and talking about it more openly. Just like with HIV and AIDS, thousands of people started started talking to their local political leaders and demanded change. And billions of dollars went into research, testing and development of drugs. And now 40 years later, people can live their entire lives with HIV. The advantage that substance use disorder has over, over HIV and AIDS is we already have the tests, we already have the, the drugs, we have the treatments, and we just need to start applying them to the people that need, that, need them and stop discriminating against them. They are not their behaviors. The behaviors are a symptom of the disease, right? Yes, they're, they're non-desirable behaviors and, and society doesn't like those. Fine, then treat the disease. If you wanna make it better, treat the underlying causes for the behaviors and the behaviors will improve. You know, just like other diseases. If you're 40 pounds overweight and you don't exercise and you eat like crap and you have type two diabetes, change your diet, start exercising, take medications, become educated about the decisions that you make on a daily basis, and your diabetes, type two diabetes will improve, okay? And that's what we need to do with substance use disorder.